plastic. It's everywhere, from our food packaging and shampoo bottles to our reading glasses and pens. Today, tiny bits of plastic even make their way into our water, food, the air we breathe, and yes, our bodies. So how on earth did we get here? And where do we go from here? When plastic first hit the scene over a century ago, the world marvelled at the material of a thousand uses. Lightweight, waterproof, flexible and durable, plastic quickly gained popularity. But its use got out of hand. In the last two decades, we've produced twice as much plastic as we previously did in almost a century. We throw away almost 50% of plastic after just a few uses, even though it can last a lifetime. And that's just the problem. What happens to the plastic after we're done with it? Today, only 9% of plastic gets recycled. That's because making new plastic from fossil fuels is still cheaper than recycling existing plastic. The majority of plastic waste becomes pollution in some shape or form, regardless of if it's burnt, buried or leaked into nature. Now, you'll find plastic in every corner of the world and not just in people's homes or bin bags. If we keep this trend up, plastic pollution could triple by 2040. About four-fifths of it is found in our oceans, making its way there via rivers, harming wildlife, polluting our waters and spreading toxins. That's not all. Plastic never really goes away. Plastic bottles take up to 450 years to decompose in landfill, and even they're not gone. They simply break up into smaller bits called microplastics, which end up in our world with consequences we're only starting to understand. Did you know we could be consuming as much as five grams of microplastic per week that's the equivalent of us eating a credit card every seven days. There is good news though. Companies, governments and individuals are starting to take action. While we tend to think twice about plastic straws, progressive companies are also starting to invest in solutions to help reduce plastic usage. There is already major support around the world calling for a global treaty to stop plastic pollution. Now, governments must take action to make it happen. With proper regulation, innovation and public support, we can fix our plastic problem, keep our oceans, rivers and lakes clean and protect people and nature. We can't let our world go to waste. Share this video to spread the message.